Imagine participating in a hackathon conducted by a space tech company and actually winning it. Hi, I'm Nagar Chaitanya. Hi, I'm Sujit. Hi, I'm Narsimha. And together as a team, we won a space tech hackathon, which is organized by Galaxy, which is India's first private company to actually launch multi-sensor imaging satellites. The only other companies to do so in India are ISRO and DRDO. So the team that is involved in building the Galaxy are a bunch of IIT Madras engineers who have worked with Elon Musk on the famous Hyperloop project. It's an honor to have worked with this team and contribute to the vision of building a constellation of satellites to help industries and governments. The global space economy is valued at about 425 billion dollars. And in spite of the existence of players like NASA, ISRO and SpaceX, there is a $46 billion market of satellite imagery open for disruption. There are two kinds of imagery used, visual imagery and radar-based imagery, but both have their unique problems. Optical visual imagery can see through clouds and climate can affect its performance, while radar imagery can see through clouds but it's not so legible. And that's where Galaxy Eye comes into the picture. They use multi-sensor satellite imagery and use complex algorithms to merge the data from their sensors to provide meaningful data to their clients. For example, the mining industry can identify ores and locate minerals through satellite imagery. Agriculture and fertilizer industries can predict crop yield. Governments can use satellite imagery for defense and disaster management. Energy and power companies can monitor transmission lines. Founded in April 2020, Galaxy has raised $3.5 million and is building deep space tech company in India for the world. And these guys forced a special hackathon with a unique problem statement. They were asked to convert 10,016 SAR images to EO images, which were satellite raw images to usable images. So I was part of multiple hackathon groups and suddenly a message popped up about two hackathons. One is for Google and one is uh, the Space Tech Hackathon. Personally, I was very interested about space and I discussed with Naga to register about this hackathon. And we registered this for this hackathon and we forgot about this. Three days before the hackathon, I got a mail that we have shortlisted for this hackathon. So the day of the hackathon comes and we started from here like 7 a.m. So it was 7 a.m. we started out here. We reached, it took a long time to reach there. So one thing was that that day uh, there were a lot of urban wars and we reached the wrong one. So there was some other hackathon going on by growth school, but we kind of were interested in the space tech only. So we kind of went back to the right location. So once we went there, we registered. There were a lot of people there. We were talking with them. And we found out that uh, there was a very good peer group also. So there were teams from, there was one team from IIT Madras, there was one team from IIT Bombay, one team was with uh, fourth year students, there were a lot of working professionals. Once the problem statement was given, we completely shocked. Ki. This was something that we haven't worked in the past also. That problem statement was completely new to us. Uh, we did not have any idea or clear view on how to approach the problem also. All, we were already demotivated by seeing that amount of peer group. I just took a chance of messaging scalar instructors and the founders here, Abhimanyu sir and Anshuman sir. And luckily Abhimanyu sir replied. So he sent us on the resources on how, how we could actually approach the problem and solve it. So there was uh, a guy who was from IIT Bombay CFE. He was also reading the same research paper. So we thought we were on the right direction. We continued reading the resources that, this, that sir sent. And later we found out that we were, we were getting on the right track. We thought of teaming up together because we were already working on the same thing. We had a similar approach developed by that time. Me and Srujan were in the morning. Narsimha was not there during that time. We kind of three of us teamed up, we started working on the project, we delegated tasks equally to each other. He was working on training the model, we were doing the, uh, f adding the filters part, removing the graininess. And later, Narsimha also joined us for helping us out on completing the project particularly. So later I joined the team at 9pm, so then Srujan explained me the problem, I was also scared seeing the teams from IIT Bombay and Madras. Later they have also said me that they have collaborated with the Bombay guy. And after Trujan explained me the problem, I have shared some of my ideas with him. And later they have also said me that they had resources from Abhiman user. It helped me a lot to build this model. What we have actually built is that we have used a text to pix model in Python. What it has, a, it takes a black and white image with one channel and returns with three channels. It has something known as unit architecture. So after returning a color image from it, what we do is we apply 2D filters on it. Uh, for brightening the image or reducing the contracts or fixing it to the correct level and uh, edge detection, all these will be done using the 2D filters. Yeah, the night was really exciting. We kind of asked everyone ki, what's the progress on the model and all. And we kind of got confidence uh, seeing the progress of different teammates also. We thought we were we had an edge of getting the accuracy to 80% and 
the kind of made us think that we might win the hackathon so later after submitted the project uh, we kind of came back we had a hope that we might win but uh, there were it madras guys also we did not know what their progress was because these guys left very early and there are a lot of online participants also so we did not have we did not know about that until we came to the campus back so later we got to know that there were online participants offline participants so it was very high competition so but eventually by god's grace our accuracy was so high and our model uh, was working well and the pitch that we submitted for the particular model on how it was working it was very much detailed and that gave us an edge over the it madras guys and we actually won the hackathon then that kind of taught a lot of us so there was some insights that i could share with you guys uh, on going to these kind of hackathon so one thing when we went there we were completely zero uh, we had no knowledge we had no confidence on winning the hackathon we had no idea about the problem statement on what to do also but things might change if you have the right people so we had abhimanyu sir who could guide us we have the and sometimes your uh, competitors also can become your teammates so as of the tidy bombay csc guy we kind of teamed up and worked upon the project and so kind of we made him as a particular teammate and that kind of eventually led us delegate task and made the work easier the third thing is never give up just be there try your best and also you can uh, get to Uh, meet with or network with great people if you go to hackathons like this particularly in bangalore i don't know about other cities particularly or but from the state that we come in or the cities that we come in a lot of things don't happen in that particular uh, place that we stay in but uh, being in bangalore that kind of gives an edge of meeting good people here uh, networking with a lot of people that wherever we go so that is something that really helped us and taught us that we need to attend a lot of hackathons or different events that go on in bangalore so after getting the news that we have won the hackathon we have posted it on linkedin i have tagged multiple people abhimanyu sir and the people at galaxy so a guy uh, a cto from kabil uh, commented at that post that we have been working on the same issue can you team up with us so that's the thing the we have been in talks with him uh, right now apart from that we have also worked on a feature for blinkit uh, for It's an AI-based application. For more details, visit our channel. The link is in the description. And apart from this, I, Naga, and I have been part of the Urban Company Internship, which is part of the Innovation Lab. And also, Narsimha is a part of Bashini project, which is led by the government of India. So I was part of Bashini team. So we have built SDKs using the Bashini API they have given us. So what you have built is the Chrome extension. Using this, you can translate a website from english language or any local language to any local language in india so here is a video about bashini made recently you can check it out there so this is what is happening at scaler school of technology uh, winning hackathons going to icpc lot of internships going on at innovation lab so for more updates follow the scaler school of technology channel and just wait for more